Hi guys, welcome back. So we are looking at the difference between baking the bacon and frying it. So we're starting off with the more popular way, just frying it in a pan. I am starting with a cold pan. So we're gonna lay the bacon in a cold pan and then get it up to medium high heat. So aside from that, we are doing the baking method too. So we're gonna put this in the oven and see the difference with how it turns out. I forgot to mention I'm using parchment paper on a baking sheet. So that was just parchment paper, no grease added. So over the years, I've always heard that starting with a cold pan is better because what happens is if you start with a hot pan and you just lay the bacon in it, it just curls up instantly. So yes, when it's curly, it looks nice and cute, but what happens is the parts that are touching the pan get cooked, but the raised parts, because it's curly, right? Those raised parts aren't getting properly heated. So you have an uneven cook on the bacon. So if you start with a cold pan, then the bacon slowly just comes up to the right temperature evenly. And the one thing too with the bacon on the stove top is I find that you have to kind of keep your eye on it. Whereas with the oven, you just set a temperature and you kind of just forget about it for quite a bit of time. Whereas this, you have to keep your eye on it. So of course guys, there are many other ways to cook bacon. You could put it on the barbecue, you could put it on a rack in the oven, and that's a great way to drain all of that fat. So those are other ways, but today we're focusing on just the stove top and the oven. So you'll see guys, it does still curl up a little bit, even though I started with a cold pan, but not as much as if I had dropped it in a hot pan. Some parts of the bacon um, look fine, but look at that. That's underdone, whereas some parts are getting really well done. So it just speaks to the unevenness when you, and look at that, that's starting to burn, whereas there's some parts of the bacon that still haven't cooked yet. Now the thing about the oven cooked bacon is that the hot air is circulating all around and consistently so you will get a more even finish in my opinion if you're an expert when you're cooking your fried bacon on the stove perfectly fine but I find it more evenly cooked in the oven you guys can comment below and tell me which method you prefer and what you think if you think it makes much of a difference Okay, what do you think guys um, it's I mean the one on the left was cooked on the stove and the one on the right cooked in the oven do you think it's much of a difference uh, do you think you could live with it 
with the little unevenness? Do you prefer to just cook it on the stove top or do you think it's a good idea to just leave it in the oven and forget about it? So comment below, let me know what you think, if it's worth baking it or if you would stick to just frying it in a pan. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, bye.